In this video, we're going to look at the new native JSON type in Google BigQuery. What exactly is JSON? JSON, or JavaScript Object Notation, is a format for encoding nested data that has largely displaced XML as a data interchange standard. New APIs generally accept and return JSON data. JavaScript, Python, and numerous other programming languages work well with JSON data encoding. JSON-oriented document stores form an extremely popular class of NoSQL databases. Think MongoDB, Amazon DynamoDB, and Google Cloud Firestore. In a relational database, we have to predefine a table schema, but document stores allow us to define the schema for each value at write time. Snowflake has long supported flexible JSON nesting through its variant type. This is an extremely popular feature, and we're excited that Google is now delivering similar capabilities. In a BigQuery table, we can now set the type of a schema field to JSON. This field can store JSON objects without us predefining a nested schema for the field, which makes it easy to insert data from APIs and document store sources. BigQuery should handle schema changes in our data sources seamlessly, but be aware that changes might still break downstream data transformation pipelines. Note also that BigQuery could already store nested JSON data using the array and struct types, but data could only be loaded into a table after we'd predefined a nested schema. In addition, BigQuery could store JSON as strings, but this required the database to parse at query time, limiting performance. While we haven't run any benchmarks, the native JSON type should deliver significantly better performance. We're going to be using parts of this tutorial. I've included the URL in the video notes. Pay careful attention to this warning. The BigQuery JSON type is a preview feature. I would recommend that you not use it in production until it graduates to general availability. I've created a project, BQ JSON Demo, just for this video. I'm going to create a dataset called My Dataset, which matches what's used in the tutorial. One of the quirks of BigQuery SQL is that we have to use the create schema command to create our dataset. Okay, the new dataset now shows up in the console, but we don't have any tables yet. Let's create a table using SQL. I'm setting the type of the cart field to JSON, and table one now shows up in the console. Let's insert a row containing a simple JSON object. In this case, it's a JSON literal, which BigQuery recognizes by the JSON keyword in front. We can also convert from native BigQuery nested types to JSON using the toJSON function. In this case, I have an array nested inside a struct. In the tutorial, you'll see this example of multiple rows with somewhat more complicated nested JSON. Instead of creating a new table, we want to insert these rows into our existing table. Let's look at the data that we've inserted. The JSON fields in each row can have their own schemas, so it's much like we're working in a document database, such as MongoDB. Now let's try drilling down into the JSON. Take a look at the part of the tutorial on extracting values. BigQuery uses an object-oriented style syntax where we look up a value by name using a dot. In this case, the name is actually name, we pull values where these exist and we get null otherwise. Let's pull values for name items. Each returned value is itself an array. To pull individual array elements, we use a square bracket syntax. And we can go one step further by looking up the name price. In summary, the BigQuery native JSON type is a great new feature that will be useful for anyone who needs to analyze or process semi-structured JSON data, but keep in mind that it's still in preview and not yet recommended for production use.